folks, Vince Bruggio here from Previews World. We're here at the Valiant booth at New York Comic Con, talking to Mr. Warren Simons. He's the editor-in-chief, right? Also known as the Taskmaster. That's right. Where are my pages? You're late. <laughs> Back to the no desk. Bathroom. I need a script. No I need my script. You're Work late. Harder. Hurry up. Where are you? <laughs> So how you been, man? I've been good, man. I've been good. How about yourself? I can't complain. We're, we're staying busy around here, and we managed to find our way over here. And um, one of the books that a lot of people are talking about, something that caught my eye, was Britannia. Yes. I'm flipping through that thing, and I'm thinking, is this out of continuity? Because it's so different from everything else you got. And then I find out, no, it's in continuity. It is in continuity. Great, right? It is in so, continuity, So yeah. explain how that works. So Peter Milligan and Juan Jose Rip have put together this book for us. It's called Britannia. Uh, it's a, basically about the world's first detective. Uh, so it takes place. Uh, uh, it takes place in ancient Rome. Uh, so it's several thousand years ago. Uh, but what we discover is that uh, this is a man who, for the first time, uh, thousands of years before the modern subconscious, the concept of the subconscious was even created, uh, has an understanding of how men move, uh, how they think, uh, logic, reason, uh, the basic detective skills of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, that's become so fluent in our sh in our society. Uh, every time we turn on CSI or, or uh, Law and Order, right, there it is. Uh, there it is. Right. Uh, so several thousand years ago, uh, uh, he basically encounters a monster, kills the thing, uh, and rescues a Vestal Virgin. Uh, and as a gift, the other Vestal Virgins bestow wisdom upon him. Essentially, allow him access to the Codex, which is an ancient scroll, which basically tells us how men think, why they why they do what they do, logic, reason. In a time when men were uh, living their lives uh, uh, based on what they thought the gods deemed them uh, able to do, this right. guy comes along and he becomes a detective. Uh, so the first the first issue that I think went through nine or ten printings, uh, it's been a big smash hit for us. Uh, it takes place a couple thousand years ago, uh, but we've got some hints to the dead side in there, which is uh, part of the Shadow Man universe. So it's all plugged into the Valiant universe. So you're building bridges? Building right? bridges everywhere. That's what we do. So let's build a bridge from the Stone Age, where we just came from now, to the present time. Yes. And one of the things that's going around the buzzwords going around now is Ninja K. That's right. We've got uh, Ninja K launching in November. This is by Matt Kent, uh, who I believe you interviewed in Baltimore. Yes, as well uh, as Rayford Roberts. As, as well. well as Rayford. Both men with, with good beards, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> trying to trying to keep up We're with them. We're all about beards and Valiant. Yeah. Yeah, it's trying to, trying trying to keep up with them. But... Um, uh, Tomas Giorello and Matt just did Exo Man of War for us. Uh, I believe it was the highest circuit independent book of the year. Uh, 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 smash hit, Tomas is a genius, Matt did a beautiful job. So they're gonna launch Ninja, uh, so Christos Gage and Tomas are now working together on Ninja K. Matt had a nice long extensive run on Ninja, he did a beautiful job with it. We have Christos Gage coming in. Christos writes uh, some Spider-Man stuff for Marvel. He's one of the guys who wrote the Daredevil show for Netflix. Super talented guy, super nice guy. And Tomas is joining together for Ninja. It looks stunning. It's beautiful stuff, man. So besides that all-star team, right, I guess the last thing I want to ask you about now is bringing something back from the past, blast from the past. It's in the October previews catalog. Yes. Quantum and Woody number one. Yes, Quantum and Woody number one. Uh, this will be by Daniel Kibblesmith. Uh, Daniel is a writer for The Late Show uh, with Stephen Colbert. Super funny guy. If you ever want to laugh, go to his Twitter feed. He's, he's kind of brilliant. Uh, and Kano, who's worked for us for a number of years, he's done stuff, uh, uh, a ton of Quantum Woody stuff for us. Uh, he's a super talented guy. So those guys are coming back. Quantum Woody are brothers. Uh, they have to clang their wristbands. They get There's a science accident that basically imbues them with powers, but it bonds wristbands to, the, to their arms, and every 24 hours they have to clang their wrists together. Now, I love my brother. I've got a brother. If I had to clang my wrist with him every 24 hours, <laughs> I don't know. So those guys are stuck together. Yay, uh, and one, one big happy family, yeah, right? One big happy family. <laughs> and Woody's kind of a, 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 a bit of a troublemaker. He's always gambling, always drinking, always womanizing. Not a good man, uh, but he's got a good heart. Just tends to do the wrong thing. And Quantum's more of a straight shooter, more of like a military kind of guy. He's got his head on right. right. Uh, so it's a, it's a comedy of uh, an odd couple, so to speak. So it's good. All right, man. Well, make sure you keep the help in line there. Of course. Keep of knocking course. it out of the park. Of course. Folks, you'll find Valiant Books at any local comic shop. Make sure you check them out because something's always new is happening, all right? Till then, we'll catch you later. Keep the faith. Keep reading comics. Anemia here reminding you to share, like, and subscribe to Previews World. Tap that button and experience everything your local comic shop can offer.